Okay, here we are um, going through the setup of an Ag Leader Insight yield monitor in a John Deere 9670 combine. Um, this is the Insight display here. Um, over here are the hard buttons on the right. Uh, the home button is up here, takes you to the home screen, is where you can change operators, copy to card, upgrade, shut down, and stuff like that. Um, the wrench button is the uh, setup button. But from here too, we can get into grain harvest, planting, seeding, tillage, cotton harvest, application. But under grain harvest, we have our different harvest configurations. And those are basically a combination of which combine, which we have a John Deere 9670, uh, which different headers. We got a 35 foot platform and then an eight row 30 inch corn head. Um, you can go through and set up all your crops, um, varieties, things. And then this is where the main calibration page is. We haven't done any calibrations yet and we're in wheat harvest and we'll be walking through that right now. Once you press the run page, you get this screen here. Um, from in here, you can select which field by grabbing the field button. Um, this is our Miniota field eight. Um, it's already set up, so we're just gonna cancel that. Um, this region button, we would push the region button. It's basically, you can use that to keep track of different loads or different regions of the field. So we, we got the combine empty right now. We're gonna make a new region. So we hit new and we can go through. We're gonna call it Cal 1 for our first calibration load. We're gonna accept that. And then uh, we're gonna flag this one as a calibration load and we're gonna accept it. So now it zeroes out everything here again and it tells us what region we're in, which field we're in, and uh, we can go combine uh, enough for our calibration, and we're gonna change this to um, wet weight, so we know how many pounds that the yield monitor thinks it's combining, and give us an idea of where we're at. And then we'll come in and dump this on the weigh wagon and see, and run our first calibration load, so. We've got our first calibration load harvested and weighed. So what we're gonna do is go back to our calibration page. Um, we hit, uh, well, let's go back to the run. After we got our first calibration load um, combined and weighed completely, you can see it says we averaged or at 16,465 pounds for the wet weight. So what I wanna do to calibrate is go back to the wrench, go to grain harvest, then to calibration, so we've got Cal 1. So what we can do now is uh, select that one and then enter weight. So the actual weight was 15,172. So we put that in there, it says it was 8.5% off. So now that we've got that in there, we can hit perform calibration. And it's got it done. So it's calibrated for the first load. Back to the run screen and and go again. But the first thing we want to do before we do that is make a new region. So we go a new region, we're gonna rename it, we're gonna call it Cal 2. Oops. Cal 2. Except so we've got a new region. We're gonna flag that one as a calibration load as well. And it zeroes everything out again, and we're ready to go get our next calibration load. Okay, we got our second calibration load in and off the combine and weighed. So we're gonna go through, we got 12,383 pounds this time. Um, so we go back to our wrench, grain harvest, calibration. So we've got Cal 2 says we had 12,384 was the estimated according to this. The weight off the weigh wagon if you believe it or not 12,382 pounds. So we accept that and it doesn't even give us says our error there is no error so but we've got two calibrations there we'll perform calibration again and okay so it's got everything everything calibrated in for wheat right now. 
Um, once you get all your calibration numbers in there, after you do two or three or four or five, however many you decide, it'll tell you your error for each one. And you can go through and check and uncheck different cow loads to apply them to it. And you want to do that, um, you know, check just the loads that are going to give you the most the most accurate reading. So you might get a cow load every once in a while that's way out of whack for some reason. You can just not use it in there and throw it out. So um, you can also see that these are the C values um, um, that it uses. Basically this is the, the highest flow and this is the lowest flow up here. So I think the C1 is actually zero, what it uses for a zero reading. So. Um, but right now we got we got it down under one percent error, so actually zero. It's pretty much nailing it right on the money. Then, um, so if we go back to here, you can see um, we just use that as a calibration load. So we want to make a new region. So you hit OK, hit Region, New Region. Then you can rename it right here. We'll just call this one. We'll do another calibration. Cal number three accept and then we'll flag that one as a calibration reading region as well and we'll accept it uh, we got some moisture readings back so what we can do as well is go back into grain harvest and then calibration and then uh, go to moisture so cal number one um, the average moisture was what, what do you say 13.6 13, 13 one, I think. 13 one. So we're within a tenth of a percent in moisture. So our moisture is fine. This is where you would do that. You would just our offset is at two right now. You change it by up and down right here. So we're gonna call it uh, our offset of 1.9 points. So that's how you would just adjust your moisture that way. You can do that for individual um, cow loads or whatever, and that'll get you. An average offset to use to apply to everything so we're gonna call that accept that as well and uh, so our moisture is calibrated pretty good it was right out of the box it was in good shape so um, go back to the run screen um, on the insights as well um, you can get some field information right here if you get click on fields and then go to field totals so our yield is averaging 66 bushels the acre of wheat for this field. Average moisture of 13.9, and we've got 18.4 acres done already right now. Okay, we got our third cow, cow load number three, uh, harvested off the combine and weighed. So, go to the wrench, go to grain harvest, go to calibration, and then cow number three, select that, hit enter weight, and our total weight was 10,622 pounds. We accept that. We had a 0.2% margin of error. So we hit, we'll hit perform cow, hit okay, and we're, we're doing good. We're still a little under 1% error for wheat right now. Cal one, we ran about three and a half miles an hour. Cal load number two, we ran about oh two and a half to three miles an hour. And then cal load number three, we ran about two miles an hour to give us different rates of flow through the combine. And uh, we're ending up, you know, under one percent error on 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 these on these loads right now. So that should give us real accurate uh, yield estimates uh, when we get to the when we're all said and done here. So if we go back to the map, it says uh, we need to make a new region. So we'll just make a new region. Um, what we'll do, we'll actually pick an old one. Again, to summarize, uh, we can go through and see uh, our total pounds on each different cow load right here, under pounds and weight right here. Um, this gives us our moisture, uh, our actual acres, our total weight, our wet dry bushels and the date it was taken so and then our average average yield in bushels per acre so I think that's it for